So I wanted to ask you, of all the many, many things, of the hundreds and thousands of things that you could do with your time, (laughs) how did you get exposed to coding? And, And walk me through your... Yeah. First experience or experiences with that. Well, I love the way that you you explain it as language, and that's really what it is. And I think that, like any language, it's a medium that you can express yourself, that you can express creative ideas, and that is what I why I think it's so powerful. I, I got exposed to it because I'm just a super curious like annoyingly curious person. I ask a lot of questions and I love understanding how things work. I love understanding like how the world around me works and and how science and math can be ways to explain that. I, I, but I work in a really creative industry and, and I, I don't know, I, I guess I, at a certain point, um, a couple of years ago, I, wanted to understand what code was. It was the term that I kept what hearing. What prompted it? Was it a I, person, a conversation? Yeah. I mean, I was meeting a lot of entrepreneurs. I was watching the entire world, especially fashion and, and media, be transformed by technology. And I was like, what is it that a handful of people who are engineers and building huge enterprise value, what is the secret language that they, that they know that the rest of us don't and code. And I was like, what is code and how can I learn it? So I took a boot camp. I took one, one week. And even in, where, where was it? In New York at the Flatiron School. Who introduced you to that? Um, this guy, Avi Flavbaum, and he's a great teacher and he started the school and he taught me Ruby similar, exactly Uh, as you. So like, it's a very intuitive kind of language. And, and even in, a short time, I was able to kind of understand high level, big principles. And the fact that you can use code to, you know, write a line of code that performs a function and you can build, you can build ideas using this language. And that to me was just so mind blowing to understand like how the tech that we touch every day, how it works and to take it one step further, but to actually be able to to write it yourself and to express your ideas um, and to be able to, I mean, you're a man of, you're so efficient, Tim. It's really inspiring. <laughs> you're so organized and so efficient. Yeah, I'm organized for maybe like two hours a day. So you're no, seeing my two hours. You are. It's impressive. And I just think that like, even you can build tech to enable that and, and to scale that. And that's what's so powerful is the ability to scale ideas or scale problem solving using code. And, and I think that there's, so much opportunity that has yet to really even be uh, built in this kind of intersection of kind of uh, many intersections of, of kind of creative industries um, with from the perspective of someone writing code who has different life experiences or passions maybe than, um, than most engineers sitting in Silicon Valley today. Mm-hmm. And, and you take this class. Yeah. You learn the basics of Ruby mm-hmm. with Avi. With Avi. All right. And, and how does that, what is Code with Classy? So Code with Classy with is... the K, folks. With the K. K-O-D-E. Is my organization where we teach girls to learn how to code mm-hmm. and empower the next generation of tech leaders. So we do that by running summer camps across the country and we teach girls the ABCs. So Ruby, HTML, JavaScript, CSS, enough to be able to build something. So our camps are across the country and they're two weeks long and they're totally free. Hmm. And we have these amazing girls who come into our, our, our camps and learn these skills and it's amazing what they're able to build. And not only just the way that they're able to build their ideas, but what they're passionate about. So if it's like making social impact, uh, helping their community, um, but they, they're able to build something and recognize the impact that they can have. Um, and that's really empowering. And that's that, that for a girl who's kind of, you know, at that point in life where you're like, figuring out what you think you can be or what you think you can't like that's really empowering 